Hi everybody, in this tutorial I'll show you how we upload a single item from the different suppliers we work with. In order to upload a new item you need to go to the uploader from the side menu and then you'll get here to regular upper, upload the first tab. So let's say I want to upload an item from Amazon. I can copy the URL and paste it here. I can also copy just the product ID number. So uh, for example, Amazon ID number is the async. It's right here. I can also just do this. And that will be enough. We work with AliExpress, Banggood, Walmart, Amazon Germany, Amazon England, UK, and Amazon US. This item is from Amazon US, so I need to change my source product type. And I will upload it to eBay US. I can then choose a template from the list of templates we have and of course you will be able to use any other template that you will be adding and I'll show it in a different tutorial. Next thing you click grab details. Now our system thinks and pulls all the data from Amazon and here we have it. We have the Amazon title that you might want to edit. You can do it here. Notice that you can add as many more. Uh, oops, this is Hebrew. You can add uh, as many more um, characters that you want and then delete it till you reach zero here. So it's very convenient for you to um, edit your title without having to use some other um, program to edit it somewhere else. Uh, we give you this option. I can also click here, remove signs. So for example, um, if you have any sign that you don't want to have, like these ones, for example, and I'll click remove signs, here they are, they're gone. Um, next thing, you can edit the sell price. You can add additional dollar profit or additional, uh, sorry, additional percentage profit or additional dollar profit. You can change the break even specifically for an item. Um, you can uh, change the category and I'll show it in a different tutorial how to do that. You can change the um, product details here, manufacturer, UPC, EEN, and everything here. You can change the item specifics, okay? Uh, we're trying to get from Amazon as many item specifics as possible. Uh, but if you would like to add new ones, you click here, you put the specific name and the value and you click add specific, for example, shipping, free shipping in US, let's say this is something I would like to add, and you can copy specifics from another eBay listings, I have a separate um, video for this, you can edit the images, you can decide to delete them all, or you can create collage or set a watermark or take images directly from your computer or from a specific URL. You can refresh the template. Let's say you've edited here uh, the, um, the title. I've added the word new, for example. If I'll click refresh template, now the uh, template that I have will get uh, the, same, the same title that I have of the listing. See, it's got new. Um, you can later change the quantity, this can be 10 units, change location for the specific item, decide what policy to use, either eBay policies which will be automatically pulled from your eBay account, or maybe you want to use our custom upload and just choose what you want to do here, the listing duration, handling time, etc. Um, the product ID, you might want to change it right at the upload usually there's no reason to do that you can add a tag okay let's say this is this is craft and i want to know and be able to filter all my um all the niche the, the craft niche for example in my store i add craft this listing will get the tag craft uh, this is something that is being pulled directly from amazon again if this is in the item specific on amazon so the only thing that uh, it managed to pull now is the weight, so if you would like to add other properties of the other measurements of the item, you can just edit it. And this is information that is only viewed in the listing itself. It's for eBay to, to check and to calculate the shipping cost in eBay Global Shipping, shipping, shipping Program. 
Uh, next thing, uh, this will always be checked at the price monitor as we want this item to automatically be monitored. Uh, if you uncheck that, it means it will not be monitored. It will go to the untracked listings. Uh, you can allow marketplace that is only relevant for Amazon listings. That means that this listing will not go out of stock if it's not prime. If you allow marketplace, it means that you want items that are not prime to also be in stock in your account. And you can check private listing. Uh, private listings means uh, that the um, buyers can stay uh, anonymous in the in the um, when they leave a feedback and when they actually purchase the, their um, their username will not be displayed and they favor this so it's really recommended to use this next thing you can choose is to either upload the item directly okay if I click here it will be uploaded directly or you can decide to schedule upload the item and I will explain about the schedule upload in a different tutorial now I click upload item upload now and I should get an approval immediately if everything is okay with my account. At the moment, uh, I get an error because this is a test account. So I get an error that um, the account is not linked to PayPal and that's why I cannot upload. This is a direct, every time you see this eBay short response, it means that we're just pulling this data directly from eBay and you'll be able to figure out uh, what to change. So if I need if I want this item to be uploaded, I need to go to eBay and uh, connect a PayPal account, okay? But in any other circumstances, you click upload product and you'll just get a confirmation. And later on, you'll go to the active listings and it will be the first one that will appear here. Uh, the first one in the row after you've uploaded. Uh, that's it for this short tutorial. We'll continue in the next one. See you.